Praise the Lord, everybody. Praise the Lord. We just want to welcome you into the house of the Lord today. For those of you, thank you for participating and joining in on our 11 o'clock service. Thank you for joining in with us today. Just please go ahead and lift your hands and close your eyes and worship with us this morning because this is the day that the Lord has made and I will rejoice and be glad in it. This is the day, this is the day that the Lord has made. Yeah. 
Praise the Lord, everybody. We certainly do give thanks unto the Lord for He is good and His mercy endureth forever. Come on and give the Lord a praise. If you're glad to be in the house of the Lord, come on and give Him a praise. The Bible says, into His gates with thanksgiving and into His courts with praise. David said, Oh, magnify. Oh, magnify. Oh, magnify the Lord with me. And let us exalt His name together. I want to welcome you, amen, to each and every one of you in Christian Ministries of the Apostolic Faith Church. And we certainly do uh, praise God. You may be seated in the presence of the Lord. This is our second service. We're going to our two-tier platform. Uh, we had morning glory uh, just a, an hour or so ago. We thank God for all of those that came to that particular service. Thank you, Lord. And this is our second service and we're going to go before the Lord and before we go before him um, we just want to uh, honor our lovely wife Lady Tracy Quinn we thank God for her and we thank God for our leadership that are here in this household today Amen. thank you Lord and we certainly do I thank God for one of my good friends Randall Coleman Amen. Amen. <laughs> What'd you say, brother? Oh, oh, he said he's not. <laughs> I mean, amen. And we certainly do thank God for each and every one of you. So we want to uh, go before the Lord in prayer. Uh, if you have a particular prayer request, amen. Those of you that are here today, if you have a particular prayer request, you can stand now and let it be known. I'm going to try to make our service as normal as possible. Thank you, Lord. Amen. All right. Well, I certainly do want to pray for our city, pray for our country, uh, and pray for our justice system and all of the systems, and men and women and children everywhere, uh, that the Lord will continue to save and add to the church daily, such as should be saved. I know there's a lot of rioting and root and rooty going on uh, in our country today. You know, I understand it. I don't condone it, but I do understand it. Amen. People are, are fed up. And they won't change. Uh, so let us pray for change. Let us pray that people uh, remain safe in the name of Jesus. And let us pray for those uh, that have suffered loss and those that may be sick with the viruses and all this other kind of stuff. And let us pray for the success of our service on today. Amen? Amen. 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 Let the church stand. Pray for our praise and worship team and the band. <laughs> thank you, Lord. Gracious Father, in the name of Jesus, we certainly do thank you, Lord, for your grace, your mercy, your love, and your kindness. We thank you for being our helper, for being our strength, for being our guide. We thank you, Lord, for this is the day that you have made. And we shall rejoice and be glad in it. We thank you, Lord, for the manifestation of your power, the manifestation of your anointing. And Lord, we pray, Lord, that you bless each and every soul under the sound of my voice. We pray, Lord, that you strengthen us with all might, with all spiritual instinct and strength in the name of Jesus. We ask you, Lord, that you heal our bodies, heal our minds and our spirit and our soul. Bless this great country, Lord. Strengthen those, Lord, that are weak. And Lord, we ask you, Lord, that you give grace and strength to those that are making a difference. And Father, we thank you and bless our service on today. Grant the door of us in Jesus' name. Amen and amen. Come on and give the Lord a praise as you remain standing. This is Pentecost Sunday. Amen. The day in which the church was born, the birth of the church of Jesus Christ. Jesus set himself upon this rock as our man comes to read our lesson. Thank you, Lord. Our, our scripture reading, Deacon uh, Stephen Kennedy. Jesus said, upon this rock, I'm going to build my church and the gates of hell shall not prevail against it. Praise the Lord. I'll be reading from Psalm 121. Oh, from the Lord. Verse 1. I will lift up my eyes 
unto the hills from whence cometh my help. My help cometh from the Lord, which made heaven and earth. He will not suffer thy foot to be moved. He that keepeth thee will not slumber. Behold, he that keepeth Israel shall neither slumber nor sleep. The Lord is thy keeper. The Lord is thy shade upon thy right hand. The sun shall not smite thee by day nor the moon by night. The Lord shall preserve thee from all evil. He shall preserve thy soul. The Lord shall preserve thy going out and thy coming in. And from this time forth and even more evermore. So look to the hills with come with your help. And always know that the Lord is with you at all times, every day, every second of every hour. I, I bless this uh, word in the name of the Lord. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. It's praise and worship time. I'm in the sanctuary. Anybody love the Lord today? Yes. Amen. Hallelujah. Come on, tell them that you love them today. Hallelujah. We love you.
God, we were worth saving. Hallelujah, we worship you in the sanctuary. Hallelujah, we give you our all because you gave us your all. We give it all to you. You deserve it, God. Hallelujah. We'll praise you. We'll worship you. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Lord, you thought I was worth